Hey guys, so I have a little experiment to do right here. Uh, this is based on the fact that uh, a lot of people, not a lot, but some people said that uh, fiberglass and epoxy resin are super, super flammable, so I am stupid for uh, building a, a camper out of foam and fiberglass, even though many people have done campers out of the same material, uh, of course, most things are flammable and, and can actually like combust and catch fire and uh, you just have to be safe and be aware. Uh, but I don't think it's actually like flammable where it's going to explode or burst into flames at the first hint of uh, a spark or a flame. So I have some samples down here. It's a calm day, no wind, cold. But uh, I'm going to set these things on fire and see what happens. So the first one on the right, I've, they're all the same material going across just for two, two tests. Uh, this one is mostly cotton. I think it was like 97% uh, cotton and uh, a small percentage. Maybe it was 93 and then 7% spandex, something like that. So this is just a common blowtorch. So, catches fire like I would expect, like nothing, it didn't burst into flames or anything yet. So that's just mostly cotton, basically like a t-shirt. With each of these, I'm just going to do a short burst to start with to see if it really catches or anything. And then I will uh, give a little bit more. So this one, sorry, this one was mostly spandex. And that's actually burning pretty slow. So both of these two materials I use to uh, make the curve right there. So I just had to form it with that and then I used fiberglass over top of it. So here's the fiberglass wrapped over top of uh, one of the shirts. This one's actually the cotton here. So let's see what happens. So looks like it's burning a little bit. And right now that is the cotton that's burning. So I just tried burning the side with just the fiberglass. Really stinks. So yeah, I guess it does go up pretty good blowing right towards me, of course. <laughs> it's burning more than I thought it would. So while that one's going, this is just the cotton material with uh, resin. That one's not, that's not burning at all. There it goes. No, it stopped. Huh, that's interesting. So that's still going a lot. But this is the same thing minus the fiberglass and it's not burning. And here's foam, that thing's just gonna melt. Yeah, that just melts. It was burning slow, so that's good. So I'm gonna have three smoke and CO detectors in the front, middle, and uh, rear. So if there is any hint of anything, hopefully, and we happen to be in it, then hopefully uh, we'll know as quickly as possible. But at least it is burning slowly. All right, let's just do this one more time. <laughs> Regular old t-shirt. Oh, maybe get a little more air underneath it. Uh. Took a little bit to get that going. Meanwhile, that's cranking along. Thick, black, stinky smoke. 
It's definitely something you'd notice if it started. I am a little surprised that the addition of the fiberglass made that burn compared to the same thing right there with it, which is just the resin and the fabric. It's burning a little bit. Let's skip over this. There it goes. That one's burning pretty good. And again, this one is just the fabric and the resin, which I'm surprised. Wow, I'm surprised that piece isn't catching. But that's going. Guess that's why you do two different uh, examples. Let's see if I got any other samples here to burn. Yeah, so I guess maybe it is the resin that makes it flammable. Oh, it stinks. <sighs> All right, so I guess there definitely is some truth to that. Uh, I'm not sure this is any more flammable than wood would be. So if you're building your teardrop out of just straight wood, um, it's also gonna catch fire. This didn't really explode. It didn't seem like it really has a lot of volatility, but definitely is flammable. And again, these this is a blowtorch. I mean, a little propane torch. So if you just drop a match onto this stuff, I'm sure it's not gonna catch fire like this. I'm gonna have some burn marks in my driveway now. Guess I didn't really think this through. <laughs> yeah, it's hissing and that's that, that's going pretty good. I keep moving because it, the wind keeps changing and just going straight towards me. This is probably not stuff I really want to be breathing in. All right, so I'm not going to burn the last little piece. It's you saw it just melted. Uh, so yeah, I guess there is some truth to that. Uh, definitely plausible. <laughs> uh, so be, ca be careful. I mean, be aware of any time you have an open fire source near anything, really. It doesn't have to be something that's going to be explosive or just a piece of wood. I would definitely be aware and be cautious and have safety precautions in place. So have a fire extinguisher near you just in case. I'm going to have at least one inside my teardrop. And uh, like I said, I'll have three smoke detectors to hopefully catch anything that might happen early on. But yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, so plausible. Um, just be aware. See you guys.